Follow me as we discover the secrets to a world full of fantasy and enchantment filled with messages from multidimensional realms, where you can unlock the door to the universe only when you have the key. Hi everyone, this is Natural Medium for you, and in this video, Spirit had me bring forward a channel message with some uh, cards to help us through this approaching full moon, January 25th, 2024. But this is for whenever you are meant to view it because it is timeless. And we all know when the full moon approaches, it brings up the ghosts of the void, those things that aren't very desirable and that sense of lack that the things that we don't really want to take a look at. And the sense of lack, for example, depending on who you are, not pretty enough, not skinny enough, not um, no self-worth, not muscular enough, and there's just the lids, the list goes on and on. And those are the things that Spirit is saying is what we come in not only from our past lives, but also our present life and how our environment molds us. But those are those are the where they're showing me like a treasure box and with gold in it, and that's they're saying that's where the gold lies to help us begin the process of healing those spots to make it to where um, they don't have such a hold on us. So we're able to um, move up in our vibrations and again to break those, help break those lineages that we come in with. So for some of you, if you're not quite clear what a channel message is, uh, to touch base on it, uh, channel messages not only come from light beings and you have to remember in spirit world, it's not linear because we want to humanize everything and they'll bring out certain phrases, um, however they are meant to bring it is there's a reason and it's to bring confirmation synchronicities for in whoever is meant to view it right then and there or they'll come later. So just remember that. And for example, they wanted me to share example for some of you that are beginners. And for one confirmation they had brought forward a, for me, uh, was a blue donkey. Now, when you think of like a blue donkey, your humanist wants to say an actual blue donkey. <laughs> but that's not what they meant. They brought a picture up and the donkey was in a window and in behind the donkey was a blue car. So that was confirmation for me on one of my channelings. So you have to remember that is how spirit works. And they know what they're doing. So anyway, that is just to clarify that. So with this being said, let's just get into the message. The Never Ending Story is a wonderful movie that has so much meaning in magic and the self. This message is for many that have lost their way. To remember in themselves the magic they once had and to ask themselves when and where did it go. This is where one has choice to look within. To acknowledge the pain and the suffering that goes with it, but viewing it with gratitude and grace. And this is where they showed me like a wild rag in a silk wild rag blowing in the wind. This is how one can let go of what is within. There are many that have seen the signs and know there is more, but yet choose to keep the sun blockers on, or some of you call them the blue blockers on. And they have brought go inward, go inward for this transformation. It's time to connect with your inner child. 
you deserve to be seen. And I love how there's a baby buck right here because here they have going into getting in touch with your inner child. And it says, let yourself be known. Let yourself, or let yourself be seen. Let yourself be known. You know the way. Trust your inner guidance. The path is lit. You know which one to take. Trust your inner guidance through the fog. Pull yourself close. This is gonna help you through the portal. Love yourself. Every part of you, your being is deserving of love. Amen. Our shadow is very good many times. It got us to where we are today for especially survival, but especially if it's in a state of where we just don't want it to have a hold of us if it's very deconstructive and not healthy. And it says, seek guidance in this. And reconnecting with Mother Earth it says it's time for a different perspective. So definitely grounding in, grounding in to feel safe and be true to who you are. Be true to who you are. Fear will not stop you from shining. And I love that they have brought this forward because my latest video it was from um, the cry of the elder, from the elders. I can't remember even what I titled it. It said it said something about putting out fear, and will bring clarity. And if you choose to, I'll put it in the description, the video, and you can listen to it if you want to. And what's interesting, I have a couple different videos on clarity, but um, I kind of got hooked up. I was like, Spirit, I already have one on clarity, and they're like, Nope different people will be able to view different ones so they all have their own meaning to each video i was like hmm, okay there you go <laughs> then they have soul satisfaction yeah honor your uniqueness do what makes you feel good yeah and doing what makes us feel good helps us raise in our vibration and keep that to help we for us to manifest what it is we desire look for the signs Here's 11 and a 33. And 33 is like when uh, 33 shows up as our ascendant masters are all around us. And it says, pay attention, expect an answer. Okay. And that takes being in the present. If we're always just busy on the phone and with work and everything and thinking, oh, I gotta wash the clothes, I gotta pay the bills, la la la, which we all do. Um, it's easy to miss sometimes the signs they bring us. And you have to ask. You have to ask your angels and guides for guidance. They'll bring it. They'll bring it and trust it with when they do bring it. And sometimes you'll say, I'll ha I need another one, because sometimes you won't trust it. <laughs> Just ask them for another one, they'll bring it <laughs> for more confirmation if you need to. <laughs> They're probably like, God, Tiffany, don't you ever, we brought that to you like five times already. <laughs> I know, I just want to make sure. <laughs> and Source Dragon. Call on Source Dragon, it tunes you to the infinite. Be still in the silence, magic can happen, and be in the moment. There we go, the presence. And call on Archangel Gabriel's Dragon. And it says, uh, brings purification. Self-discipline will speed ascension and bring joy. You can carry Archangel Gabriel's diamond. And then we have Water Dragon. Helps you flow easily around obstacles. Ain't that something? And there is also a channeling I'll put in the description. Spirit had me do, and it was about moving around obstacles. I can't really remember. So we'll link that in there as well. It says Christ light and love are flowing. Develop your psychic abilities and go with the flow. And I, there is a video on psychic abilities, so I don't know if that's in the same video or not, but I will link, I will put those in the description. So if you want, you can research a little bit more into those for yourself. And um, Earth and Fire Dragon works with you to clear the fifth dimensional ley lines. So call on this dragon here. 
and it's time for service. When you give, you receive. I agree and disagree. You gotta have balance in that. There definitely has to be a balance in both ends, giving and receiving. And Earth and Dragon. Earth and Air Dragon, excuse me. And it says represents a perfect balance of heaven and earth. Stay balanced, ground your visions, and manifest hopes and dreams. So keep positive. Yeah, and just acknowledge what comes forward. And I really hope this helps. I'd love to hear back from you guys. And again, um, I thank you guys for tuning in. And anybody who likes and subscribes, it helps put back in my bucket. And um, yeah, thank you, Spirit, as well. And thank you. And remember to like and subscribe and all that jazz. All right, until next video, bye for now.